Yes. Hello everyone. Welcome to Swift Learn, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Swift Learn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests and all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those are new, book a free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I am Shishank sir and today I will be teaching you the second part of the topic fractions. Yes, so in the previous class we studied what are fractions and few classifications of fractions. Today we will study more like we are going to study about the like and unlike fractions. We are going to study about the comparison of like and unlike fractions. We are going to learn addition of fractions going to learn subtraction of fractions so all these things we are going to learn in our today's class so yes so we have also learned how to find equivalent fraction okay in the previous class so let's uh, solve few problems based on the knowledge of the previous class so check whether the given fractions are equivalent or not okay so 5 and 30 so 5 multiplied by 6 will give me 30 okay let us check with 9 how much is 9 into 6 9 into 6 is 54 so 5 by 9 and 30 by 4 are equivalent fractions yes they are equivalent fractions now let's move to the topic like and unlike fractions so what are this like fractions what are this unlike fractions now there are a group of fractions here 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5. Can you see the denominators are same? Let me add more examples. Okay, 9 by 5, 11 by 5. All the denominators are same. Okay, two or more fractions where the denominators are same are called like fractions. Okay, so here two or more fractions where denominator are not same. Those are unlike fractions. So 1 by 5, denominator is 5. Here denominator 6, 7, 8. So they are unlike fractions. Even if three denominators are same. And one denominator is different. These are also unlike fractions. All the denominators should be same. Then only they are like fractions. Yes, so these are like fractions. Unlike fractions. So the next topic so comparison of fractions we can compare two fractions to find the one of the fraction is equal to or greater than or smaller than the other fraction so like fractions have same denominator so the fraction with greater numerator is the greater fraction here 3 by 2 and 7 by 2 are they like fractions yes they are like fractions why they are like fractions because the denominators are same now in this case check the numerator 7 is greater than 3 so 7 by 2 is greater than 3 by 2 okay so yes let us solve this problems compare this fractions okay so 4 3 by 4 1 by 4 denominators are same so 3 is greater so 3 by 4 is greater 6 by 7 2 by 7 denominators are same 6 is greater so it is this it is this and these are equal 3 by 5 3 by 5 denominators are same numerators are same so it is equal yes now comparing unlike fractions how to compare unlike fractions when the denominators are different easy make the denominator same how will you make the denominator same by using the concept of equivalent fraction if the denominators are not same make the denominator same Okay, now 4 by 2, 7 by 4. 
okay what is the lcm of 2 and 4 lcm of 2 and 4 is 4 okay now make all the denominators 4 this is already 4 no need so make this 4 how will you make this 4 multiply by 2 2 into 2 is 4 okay so 4 into 2 is 8 so the equivalent fraction is 8 by 4 and this is 7 by 4 now 8 is greater so 8 by 4 is greater which implies that 4 by 2 is greater than 7 by 4. Got this? This is how we compare fractions. Yes. Next one. Compare the following fractions. Yes. Let's compare them. Okay. So here it is 4. Here it is 2. Make it 4 by multiplying by 2. 2 into 2 is 4. 5 into 2 is 10. Now this is 10. This is 6. Obviously this is greater okay this one make this 6 by multiplying by 3 this is 3 this is 3 by 6 this is 5 by 6 5 by 6 is greater now this is 3 this is 7 the lcm is 21 so multiply this by 3 numerator and denominator by 3 so it is 21 multiply this by 7 so denominators are 21 what about the numerators 3 3 is 9 7 ones are 7 this is greater so this is the and so here make this 8, 4, 2 is 8, 5, 4 is 20. Obviously, 20 is greater than 1 by 8. 20 by 8 is greater. So this is greater. This is how we solve. This is how we compare fractions. Okay. Now let's solve this problem. Ela reads 25 pages of a book containing 100 pages. Lalita reads two fifth of the same book. Who read less? So out of 25, out of 100 pages, Ela read 25 pages. So what will be the fraction? The fraction will be 25 by 100. Divide it. 5 fives are 25. 5 twos are 10. 2 zeros are 0. 5 ones are 5. 5 fours are 20. So Ela read one fourth of the book. Okay. Lalita read two fifth of the book. So who has read more? Take the LCM. LCM is 20. Multiply this by 5 and this by 4. This is 20, 20, 5 ones are 5, 4 twos are 8. So this is greater. So obviously 2 by 5 is greater than 1 by 4. So Lalita read more part of the book. So let's move on to the new topic addition of fractions. The first one is addition of like fractions. In like fractions, we can simply add the numerator to get sum of fractions. So 2 by 5 plus 4 by 5. Denominators are same. Write the same denominator 5 and simply add the numerators. 4 plus 2 is 6. So the answer is 6 by 5. Okay. So add the following. Okay. So 5 by 9 plus... 7 by 9. Denominators are same, which is 9. Add the numerators. 7 plus 5 is 12. Can we simplify this? Yes, we can simplify this. 3 3 is a 9, 3 4 is a 12. So the simplified answer is 4 by 3. 4 by 3 is also the right answer. 12 by 9 is also the right answer. Here, denominator is 20 add the numerators 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 9 is 19 and 19 by 20 is the answer yes okay adding unlike fractions same concept okay if the denominators are not same make them same okay so let's add 2 by 3 and 4 by 5 take the lcm of 3 and 5 LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. So make this 15 by multiplying by 5. Make this 15 by multiplying 3. So 5 twos are is 10. Okay, see this 2 by 3. Make this 15 by multiplying 5. So 5 twos are is 10. 10 by 15. Okay. Plus 4 by 5 into 3 into 3. 4 threes are 12. 12 by 15. Now the denominators are same, add the numerators. So it is 22 by 15. Can we simplify this? No. So this is the final answer. This is the answer. This is how we add unlike fractions. 
okay by making the denominator same and adding them yes subtraction of like fractions same if the denominators are same simply subtract the numerator so 7 by 9 minus 2 by 9 9 is the common denominator 7 minus 2 will give you 5 so 5 by 9 is the answer yes so yes what if the denominators are not same you make them same okay so yes 5 by 6 minus 2 by 6 denominators are same so 5 by 6 so 5 minus 2 by 6 5 minus 2 is 3 3 by 6 now can we simplify this yes 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 so 1 by 2 is the answer you got this yes now add the following solve the following yes so 3 and 5 how much is the lcm yes you are right the lcm is 15 okay now make this 15 like let me hide this let me utilize this space 3 by 5 by 3 can be written like this 5 by 3 okay multiply this by 5 so plus 3 by 5 multiply this by 3 25 by 15 plus 9 by 15 Denominators are same, so write the same denominator. 25 plus 9 is 34. 34 by 15 is the answer. This one, denominators are same, so answer is 8 by 6, which is 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6. 4 by 3 is the answer. Yes. Hmm. Subtract the following, subtract the following. Denominators are same. So, subtract the numerators. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 by 7. Denominators are different. Make them same. 4 by 5. LCM of 5 and 2 is 10. So, multiply this by 2. So, 5 2s are 10. Multiply this by 5. So, 4 2s are 8. 8 by 10 minus 5 by 10. Denominators are same. 8 minus 5 is 3. 3 by 10 is the answer. Got this? Okay. So, visualization of subtraction. Okay. So, yes. So, solve the following 7 by 12 plus 1 by 18. See this. How do I solve this? okay so 12 12 12 okay so what they have done here is how much is the lcm okay let me teach you this in a very easy approach okay so the easy approach will be quick let us solve that using that now how much is the lcm of 12 and 18 find the lcm of 12 and 18 okay 6 2s are 12, 6 3s are 18. Okay, so it is 6 into 2 into 3. 6 2s are 12, 12 3s are 36. Okay, so this is 12. How to make this 36 by multiplying by 3? Okay, this is 18. How to make this by multiplying by 2? 18 2s are 36. Now 7 3s are is 21, 2 1s are is 2 by 36. Add them, you get 23 by 36 can you simplify this no this is the final answer use this technique this is the easier one okay don't make the problem complex okay now, addition and subtraction of a mixed fraction so there are two mixed fraction the first first thing is convert it into proper fraction how to convert this in proper fraction 8 5 is a 40 40 plus 3 is 43 by 5 7 3s are 21, 21 plus 2 is 23 by 7. Now, denominators are different. Take the LCM, which is 7 into 7, which is into 5 into 5. So, 7 5s are denominator is 35. Add the numerators 43 into 7. Okay. So, 7 4s are 4 7s are 28, 7 3s are 21. Add that, you get 3 0 1. Okay, plus 23 into 5. 
So half of 23 is 11.5. So it is 115. 115. You can check out. You will get the same answer. You may ask me, sir, itna fast apne kaisa kiya? Okay, these are all Vedic maths techniques. If you want to learn faster calculations, how to do calculations fast, book a free trial class on Vedic maths. What you need to do is log on to www.swiftlearn.com, click on book a free trial class, choose Vedic maths, choose your standard, and book a free trial class at your convenient time. So many things you are going to learn in the free trial class. Okay, now add them. How much do you get? You get 416. So 4165.35. This is the answer. That's how you add. Okay, 4165.35. Yes. Simplify this. Okay. First things first, take the LCM of 12, 9, and 24. Okay. 12, 9, and 24. Divide all the three numbers by a common number 3. 3 4s are 12, 3 3s are 9, 3 8s are 24. Can you divide this by a single number? Okay, so it is 3 into 4 into 3 into 8. So, how much is the LCM? This much is the LCM. So, solve this and get the answer. Okay, so yes. Just a minute, guys. Okay, so yes. Hmm. So the LCM was uh, 3 I had taken. So 3 4s are 12, 3 3s are 9, 3 8s are 24. So 3 4s are 12, 8 3s are 24. 24 into 12. Or this is um, 4 3s are 12 and 8 3s are 24, right? 12 fours are 48, 12 twos are 24, 24 plus 4 is 28, 288. Okay, so see this, so 288 is the LCM, so 24 into 12, so 7 into 24 plus 8 into 9 divided by this number, okay, so... 9 3s are 27, 9 2s are 18 into 32 minus, okay, 7 into 12. So let us solve this. Let us get the answer. 24 7s are, 4 7s are 28, 7 2s are 14, 15, 16, 168 plus, 32 into 8. 8 3s are 24. 8 2s are 16. 256 minus 12 7s are 84. To this, simplify this, you will get the answer. So 168 plus 256, 256 plus 168. Add them, you get 3, 11, 14, which is 4, 2, 4, minus 84, 0, 3, and 340 by 288. This is 340 by 288. Can we simplify this? Yes, we can. Simplify this and get the answer. Okay. So, operations on negative numbers. Okay. 5 by 2 plus minus of 8 by 9. Okay. So, LCM of 2 and 9 is 18. So, 45 by 18 minus 16 by 18 plus into minus is minus. 45 minus 16 is 29 by 18. So, let us solve this problem. How to solve this problem? So, 3 3s are 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 by 3 minus 4 9s are 36. 37 by 9 minus 6 is a 36. 37 by 6. So, the LCM of 3 9 6 is 18. Okay, see this 3, 9, 6. 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9, 3 twos are 6. So 3 threes are 9, 9 twos are 18. 18 is the LCM. This is 3 6 are 18, right? So 10 into 6 is 60 minus 9 twos are 18, 37 into 2. Okay, 
so six seven seventy four minus thirty seven into three. Three three is a nine. Nine seven to the fourteen. Seven three is a twenty one. One one one. So this you will get answer as a negative number. Okay. So the answer is so add this negative terms. You get minus one eighty five and sixty. Okay, one eighty-five minus sixty. If you do that, how much you will get? You will get one twenty-five. Negative one twenty-five by eighteen. Can you simplify this? No, you can't. So that is the answer. Okay. A similar problem. Let us solve this. Five by six minus two integer one by four. Okay. So this is five by six minus. Four to the eight, eight plus one is nine, and nine by four minus three by five. Check this out. How much is the LCM? So LCM is six four is a twenty four, twenty four five is a one twenty. Okay, sir, twenty four into five. How is it? I'll show you a Vedic math trick. Half of two is one, half of four is two. Put a zero. Twenty four into five is one forty. You can check that. Okay, so to learn more tricks like this, all you need to do is book a free trial class on Swift Learn. You will learn so many tricks in the free trial class. So this is nine by four plus into minus is minus minus three by five. Now the denominator is one twenty. Six twos are twelve, so twenty into five hundred forty into three. Okay. Yes. So it is one twenty. I checked. Okay. So with sixty also you can do, but okay, it's okay. So yes. Next thing. Sixty. Mm, can I divide this? Four ones are four. Fifteen. Yes. Of course it works. Why? Okay. Yes. Don't worry, guys. Yes. I've taken one twenty. Yes. Let's proceed this. Okay. So forty three is a. Okay. One twenty. So nine three is a. Twenty-seven, okay. Five into one twenty, twelve, okay. Twelve three is a thirty-six. So hundred minus two seventy is minus one seventy. Minus one seventy minus thirty-six. Add them, we get two zero six. Minus two zero six by one twenty. Can you simplify them? Yes, you can simplify them. Bring it to the lowest form. Yes. The next problem. Sam spent one sixth of his Sunday doing homework. Three sixth of his day watching cricket. What part of the day was left? Okay, so the total part of the day is one. One whole day minus one by six minus three by six. This one I am going to write it as six by six. Six by six is one by one, which is one. So six minus one is five. Five minus three is. So two sixth of the day was left, which is nothing but one third. One third of the total day was left. Yes. Next chocolate. Okay. Next question. I somewhere read chocolate and I said chocolate. Okay. Next question. My mother ate one eighth of the cake. Acha. So out of the total cake, eight slices. One part mother ate. My father ate three eighth of the cake. How much cake has been eaten and how much cake is left? Okay, let one whole, let one represent the whole cake. So one minus one by eight minus three by eight. One can be written as eight by eight. Eight minus one is seven. Seven minus three is four. So four by eight, which is nothing but one by two. Half of the cake is left. Yes. Next question. Yes, Emma likes chocolate. Even Jashang sir likes chocolate. One day she brought chocolate and ate five by eight of it in the morning and two by eight in the evening. How much part was the chocolate has been eaten? 
okay so 5 by 8 2 by 8 add them you get 7 by 8 7 by 8 part of the chocolate is eaten now 1 represents the whole part 1 minus 7 by 8 is nothing but 8 by 8 minus 7 by 8 is nothing but 1 8 1 8 of the chocolate is left matlab agar ek dairy milk hai jisme 4 pieces hai 8 pieces hai to itna like 5 by 8 1 2 3 4 5 5 by 8 she ate in the morning 2 by 8 in the evening, 2 more and 1 part is left which is 1 by 8. This is what we got here. Okay. Yes. So, let us play this quiz and let us finish the chapter. Hmm. So, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 3 by 3, which is 1. 8 by 15 minus dash will give me 7 by 15. So, deno, uh, denominators are same. So, 8 minus what will give me 7? 8 minus 1. So, 1 by 15, it is option 8. Next question. Yes, 25 by 7 minus 15 by 5. Okay, so these are different denominators. So, yes, make the denominator same. So, 7 5s are 35. Multiply this by 5, multiply this by 7. So, 7 5s are 35. 25 5s are 125. 15 7s are 15 6s are 90. 15 7s are 105. Subtract that, you get 20 by 35, which is 5 4s are 30, 5 7s are 35. 4 by 7, B is the answer. Next, 1 integer 1 by 2 plus 2 integer 1 by 2. Okay, add them. So, convert them into mixed fraction, improper fraction. So, 1 into 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2, 8 by 2 which is 4, 4 is the answer, yes, that is the right answer, so all the problems we have solved right, okay, so yes, so what did we learn today, today we learned about like fractions, unlike fractions, comparing like and unlike fractions, addition of fractions, subtractions of fractions. Okay, all these things we learned in our today's class. So, yes, that's all for today. Then, students, those are new, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I'm Shashank, signing off. Bye, have a nice day, everyone.